Welcome to Crook and Kipe Extra Innings. As tonight in extras, the Giants found a way to come back to beat the Dodgers 4-3. to And what a good game it was tonight. In the first six innings, the Giants were only able to get one hit out of Alex Wood. Then the bull can't pin came in and unraveled tonight for the Dodgers. First, you had Sergio Romo on the mound, and Christian Arroyo came up to the plate and the windup and the pitch. And it was a high fly ball. He hits it high. He hits it deep. It is out of here. For Christian Arroyo's first home run as a, in the major leagues. That is always a home run you will, you will never forget as, as a player. And hopefully we'll see a lot more home runs off of Arroyo. And the outs he had, he was hitting the ball hard. He's, he's going to, he's going to get his tits. He's, I'm really starting to like what I'm seeing from Christian Arroyo. Then later on, Michael Morse came in to pitch it. And it was a high fly ball. He hits it high. He hits it deep. It is out of here. Michael Morse, who hit it, who we haven't seen since 2014 in a Giants unit, comes back and he didn't miss a beat with a with a solo home run to send the game to extra innings. And, man, Morse is the guy maybe they need to loosen up the locker room and loosen up the clubhouse and some motivation. He looked great tonight. He looked loose. And he might be that pop off the bench we've been missing. And, you know, Quarkus Hernandez had a good night, too. He did not... He did not look too bad either. The last couple games, he's starting to he's starting to find his bat. So I'm going to lay off of him. He's he's hitting better. So hopefully he can get turn it around here and everything a bit better. But we and we did have a couple roster moves today. First was Michael Morse. He's taken the place of Denard Span, who was placed on the 10 day disabled list. And then Jarrett Parker was moved to the 60-day disabled list. And c coming up is Kelby Tomlinson. And also, well, and also Brandon Crawford is on the bereavement list for now and will be checked after he's off the bereavement list about his groin injury. Hopefully we get good news from that and, Hopefully, Brandon Crawford will not miss significant time at short. But man, you know this, this was this was a good night. This was classic Giants torture. Johnny Cueto came in. He was okay. In six innings, he allowed three earned runs. Not the greatest, but not the worst. But Alex Wood was dealing tonight. He he only allowed one hit in six innings and. He only allowed one hit in six innings, and and with the Dodgers likely having to sell here at the, the trade deadline, he might bring back some prospects for the Dodgers. Since Alex Wood may not be likely the long one of the long term answers in L.A., and he had five strikeouts. And, you know, he did a great job though in, in a spot start for, in place of Rich Hill, who's on, who's been having splinter issues for the Dodgers. Yeah, former Giant Sergio Romo was unraveled tonight. He came in and allowed two earned runs, and his ERA is not all that wonderful either at ten point five seven. Pedro Baez allowed his first earned run of the season. Congrats to. Morse for being that guy to do it. And then then Ross Stripling came in and he kind of unraveled in the 10th inning. I mean, he was left in the 
left in the game too long for the Dodgers. And and so we got had a hit, then a walk, and then and and, then, and Pence came up. It wasn't pretty, but it wasn't. But it was a productive out, and it, that's what was the game decider tonight. But after Cueto, the bullpen came in and shut it down for the Giants. Excellent, like excellent job by the bullpen tonight. Oh, Kurt, he's he's starting to find his groove as in in the in the pen as a reliever. He's starting to thrive in that lefty role. I still think though that they're going to need to probably make some sort of a roster move in the near future to add another lefty to the pen. That way we're not stuck with only O'Kurt. I think at some point you're going to see Josh Osage called up to alleviate, take some of the workload off of O'Kurt and such. But yeah, and then... You know, with with Stan, take his time. I really, he wasn't hitting well for a while, and he can take his time returning. And I, I, I actually prefer Hunter Pence in the leadoff spot. Pence hits well in the leadoff, and I'd keep Pence in the leadoff spot for now. And and the kids are all right. And there's there's gonna be another super utility player down in Sacramento who we could see by September this year by the name of Austin Slater. And yeah, he could be another Ben Zorbrist who's who's truly a super utility player from what I hear, and he could be up sooner than later for the Giants and hopefully it happens. All right, let's go around the league with other scores for today. The Brewers beat the Reds 9-4. to Your winning pitcher was Willie Peralta. And your losing pitcher was Rookie Davis. And that's his name, Rookie Davis. And Jet Bandy had three for four today. And it looks like you might. And it looks like Suzak might be relegated to a backup role in Milwaukee at this point. And Davis allowed seven earned runs in two and two thirds innings pitch. That's not going get, to get it done. And the White Sox beat the Royals 5-2. to two, And Jose Quintana got his first win of the season. And Nathan Carnes is, was the losing pitcher. Eric Cosmer went 3-5 for five tonight. Jose Abreu went 2-2. Two two. And an extra note, this and the, and the Royals have lost their seventh straight game. So, they're not looking pretty right now, and this team is looking like a team that is going to tear it down to the bolts here come, come the trade deadline. So, a lot of these players who are playing right now for the Royals are going to be likely going to be traded or and whatever by the deadline. So unless their name's Eric Gordon and Alex Gordon, excuse me, yeah, they're going to be looking to be playing for other teams very soon. The Indians beat the Astros seven to six. Your winning pitcher was Trevor Bauer. Your losing pitcher was Lance McCullers Jr. And McCullers gave it up five earned runs and five innings pitched. The Pirates beat the Cubs six to five. Your winning pitcher was Wade LeBlanc. Your losing pitcher was 
John Lester. And Josh Harrison had a good good day going two for three. Same thing with two for three for Josh Bell. John Jay went two for three. Chris Bryant went three for four. And John Lester got roughed at six six runs, five earned in five innings pitched. Tyler Glasnow had three runs and three innings, three and a third innings pitched. And Daniel Hudson gave up two earned runs tonight in two thirds innings pitched. The Phillies beat the Marlins seven to four. Your winning pitcher was. Vince Velasquez, your losing pitcher was Wee Yin Chang Chen, excuse me. And what a game for Michael Franco went three for four tonight for the Phillies. And finally got back above the Mendoza line. And Annie Hechevaria had a three for four game for the Marlins. And Harleen Gar Gar Garcia allowed a earned run for two earned runs. Dustin McGowan allowed two earned runs. The Orioles beat the Rays 5 to 4. Your winning pitcher was Alec Asher. Your losing pitcher was Alex Colomi. And Tim Beckham went 3 for 5 for the Rays today. And Colomi allowed two earned runs and one and two thirds innings pitched to blow the game in extra innings. The Braves beat the Mets eight to two. Your winning pitcher was Julio Tehran. Your winning, your losing pitcher was Robert Gelsman. Nick Markakis went three for four today. Jay Bruce went two for two. And Gesselman only lasted four innings, allowed five earned runs. And Fernando Salas allowed two more earned runs in one inning pitched. And the first game of the Yankees Red Sox rivalry went to the Yankees tonight, three to one. Your winning pitcher was Luis Severino. Your losing pitcher was Rick Porcello. And Severino allowed only three hits and in seven solid innings pitched. And man, yeah, and these youngsters are getting it done for the Yankees right now. The Mariners beat the Tigers eight to nothing. Your winning pitcher was James Paxton. Your losing pitcher was Dan Daniel Norris. Juan Segura went three for six tonight. Mm -hmm. And Daniel Norris didn't even get out of the fifth inning tonight. He allowed four earned runs and in four innings pitched. Anibal Sanchez allowed four runs, three earned, and in four innings pitched. And at this point, it might be time to 
designate Anibal Sanchez for assignment. And and at US Bank Field today, the Cowboys beat the Vikings 14 to 3. Your winning pitcher was Cole Hamels. Your losing pitcher was Taylor Rogers. Miguel Sano went three for four. Delino De Shields Jr. went two for three. Runet Odor went two for three. Shin Chu Chu went three for five. And Rogers allowed three earned runs and a third inning pitch. Matt Belial allowed five earned runs in two thirds innings pitched. And Michael Tonkin allowed three earned runs in a third inning pitched. And Chu had his second home run of the season off of Tonkin. The Nationals beat the Rockies 11 to 4. Your winning pitcher was Tanner Rourke. Your losing pitcher was Tyler Chatwood. Ryan Zimmerman went 3 for 5. Trey Turner went 3 for 5. And Chris Russian, Russin came in a lot of four earned runs. And the Nationals have feasted on the Rockies, Rockies pitch in the last two games. And Blake Treenan allowed two earned runs in one and two-thirds innings pitched. The Padres beat the D-backs. Eight to five, your winning pitcher was Ryan Butcher. Your losing pitcher was Fernando Rodney. AJ Pollock went three for five. Paul Goldschmidt went three for four. Eric Ibar went two for three and had a home run. And Rodney came in allowed five earned runs to blow the lead for the D-backs in the ninth inning to lose the game. And Torres hit Goldschmidt tonight. And across the bay, the Oakland A's lost to the LA Angels, eight to five. Your winning pitcher was Matt Shoemaker. Your losing pitcher was Sean Manea. And Cole Cal Coley Calhoun went three for five. And Ryan Dole came in allowed four runs, two earned. Manea, Sean Manea did not make it out of the third inning, allowed three earned runs. And might have suffered an injury. Yeah, he did leave the game with shoulder tightness in the third inning. So we don't know how long Manea is going to go on the DL and the likely call-up would be would probably be Daniel Mangden, I think. Mangden. Yeah, Daniel Mangden could, could end up getting the call-up if Manea has to go on the disabled list. Oh, oh he's off on foot surgery. Never mind. Graveman may likely take over his spot for a while. And down on the farm,
There were no games today, so the, the River Cats were off today. And tonight in the NBA. Wizards beat the Hawks 103 to 99. They take a 3 2 series lead. The Celtics have rallied back to take a 3 2 series lead after beating the Bulls 108 to 97. And two games in the NHL tonight. We had a good one tonight between the Blues and the Predators. And the Predators ended up winning the game 4 to 3. But you know, also, Jake Allen and Pekka Rinne looked a little mortal tonight. So, when PK Subin came in and scored two goals, I think, tonight. And also the Oilers uh, beat, the, in a chippy game, the Oilers beat the Ducks 5-3. to three. And in sad news today, ESPN has laid off 100 people. And they will not be covering hockey anymore after getting after laying off their whole fight their whole hockey crew. And at the 1956 part of the game, we had Cashin, Cagula, Sakara, Perry, Getzlaff, and Kessler all get roughing penalties. So this, we'll see if the uh, enforcers come in in game two or not. And we have an injury to announce to for the Mariners. They're going to be without the services of King Felix, he was placed on the 10-day disabled list. So we'll see how long he... And also we had a postponed game today. The Cardinals and Blue Jays were rained out. And if the season were to end today, the Orioles would win the AL East. The 
Tigers would win the AL. We would have a three-way tie for the AL Central, 11-9, and nine, between the Tigers, Indians, and White Sox. The Astros would win the AL West. And at least, right now, the Nationals are in first place. The Cubs are in first place in the Central. The NL West right now, the Rockies and D-backs are a half a game apart from first place. The Dodgers are in third. And the Giants are still in the cellar at 8 14. But it's still early. And you can follow me at Rob Iman at twitter.com. Thanks for tuning in. I will see you. Oh, and a reminder there will be no show Thursday, Friday, tomorrow, Friday, and Saturday. I'm going to be either working. Tomorrow's a matinee game, so I'll be working tomorrow. So no, no show then. Friday, I am going to be at the rodeo, so there'll be no show Friday night. Because there'll be a rodeo in my neck of the woods. And then Grizzly Fest is Saturday, so no show Saturday night either. I'll be back Sunday with Crook and Kipe Extra Innings and Crook and Kipe They Might Be Giants. And this week's topic on Crook and Kipe They Might Be Giants is Mike Kruko and his health condition. And we'll see. We'll talk about it then. Thank you very much for tuning in. Together we're giant. Good night and see you Sunday.